Hi everyone. Ro from Ro's Kitchen here, also coaching at the kitchen table with Ro. Go either way. Anyway, I wanted to make some cream of celery soup and I'm going to tell you what happened. So, the other day I made a cream of tomato soup and it was fantastic. And the video for that came out a little wonky and so it's only on my Living Plant Based Daily Facebook group. So if you wanted to see it, you'd have to go there, but it's really wonky, I will tell you. But the recipe is there. It's delicious. So I thought, I was going through my fridge today and I realized I have so much produce. When am I going to ever eat the celery? I bought celery because, number one, it was cheap. It was 88 cents. Seriously, 88 cents. It was cheaper than buying the chopped. And I really only needed a little bit because I wanted to make a no chicken salad with, you know, you got to put chopped celery in it. Well, I only need one stalk. So it wasn't near the market that sells one stalk at a time, which is really cool, by the way. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to just take all that celery, and I'm going to make a cream of celery soup. So I've invited you into the kitchen to watch and make it with me. And I'm going to get my pan hot. And I have chopped up. I didn't want to drag you into everything being chopped and things like that. So I went ahead and got everything prepped up for you. But I'll give you the recipe as we go along, in case you want to use it. So I did one onion. So I chopped one onion. I'm going to saute that. And I'm going to saute that with about, I'd say I did four cloves of garlic. Oop, little piece of garlic hair in there. Four cloves of garlic skin, not hair. Skin, skin, garlic skin. All right. So I'm going to saute that. And to saute, because this is oil-free, and you don't need oil to saute onions, remember that. Onions have their own sugar. It's not the oil that gives them the flavor, it's the onions that give themselves the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute the celery at the same time, because I want everything to be softened all at once. So this is a whole head of celery, a whole, all the stalks together. This is all the celery, okay? And I am going to water saute. Now, I would normally, with something like this, I would normally saute with um, broth, but I don't have enough. I only have enough for the actual soup portion, and I may need to even add water to that. So I'm going to go ahead and saute this. You can hear it sizzling along. I have this on the stove on a pretty high heat because I am one of those people that's in a hurry. You know, I just don't have the patience to put on low heat and saute and simmer. It's not my style. So I do it this way. And as I'm looking in here, I'm going to pick out anything that looks like, you know how with uh, celery it has the threads? So if I see any threads, I might pick them out. But so I've got this on high heat, and we're going to cook that down. And celery is uh, one of those plants that does retain water. So I may not have to add too much to this for it to saute because... All that water in the celery will be released. So I'm going to switch over to a wooden spoon. So the other thing we're going to add to this, so I have my broth. And then for the cream, you can use coconut milk, which is great, in the can, not in the carton. Or I prefer to make a, a cashew cream. And I have soaking in here. I have a half a cup of cashews with a half a cup of water. So I have my water here ready in case I need to saute. I have my emulsifier here for when we're all done, I'm gonna emulsify it. Now, if you don't have an emulsifier, no big deal. You don't need a, an emulsifier. All you need is a blender. You can do the same thing. So don't feel you have to get fancy, not necessary. I just happen to be one of those crazy people who loves kitchen toys. I don't know if you're like that, but man, I love kitchen toys. And then there are some big chunks in here. So you see here? Here's a big chunk, but I wouldn't worry about it because um, the reason you don't need to worry about it is that we're going to emulsify it. We're going to cream it out, you know. So I was trying to think what would go good with celery and an herb. I wanted to match it with an herb. And I'll be honest with you, they gave me all sorts. I did get a few ideas when I was looking for that. And I think some was thyme, basil. I don't think rosemary would be a good match, but maybe. I love rosemary, though. It's my favorite. I know with the tomato soup, I did, I did do like a, a cup of uh, basil, chopped basil. And when I emulsified that, oh my gosh, it was fantastic. That tomato soup, I have to tell you, was the best ever. You'll have to 
You'll have to contact me to get that recipe. But, um, yeah, so I decided I'm just going to go with just celery. Salt and pepper, broth, and my cream sauce. And so we'll make this up together. This may take a few minutes. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in. I think I should be able to get questions. I'm not sure. But if not, after the video is over and it's posted, I'll answer any questions then, of course. So now I'm just really waiting for the soup to go, I mean, this um, celery to go. While I'm waiting for this, I don't know how many of you know my story, but I um, used to be on the SAD diet. Does anybody know what the SAD diet is? What do you think? It is the um, standard American diet. Standard American diet means they eat meat, fish, well, meats and that dairy, okay? They eat all the regular stuff that most people always eat. Well, a few years back, I had, um, now I've always wanted to lose weight. I mean, I was thin as a young girl. I was always thin. Um, I didn't start gaining weight actually until I was in my 30s, to be honest with you. And, uh, and after I got married and had children, I had two children. And then the weight started coming on, and I really had trouble getting it off. So I tried everything, you know. I went to Weight Watchers. I went to, I tried Paleo. Paleo, I thought, was the bomb because, hey, lose weight and eat bacon every day? Whew, I'm in, baby. Um, but, and I tried, let's see, there was a South Beach diet. I remember buying that book. Oh, I even went to Jenny Craig. I'm not bashing any of these programs. They're all, they all have their pluses. I mean, their, their goal is to fix you on the outside and bring and have you lose weight. But then I always gain the weight back. I don't know about you, but it, it was what, you know, the yo-yo syndrome, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. And, you know, that really plays havoc on your body. That's a terrible thing to have the yo-yo diet because it's rough on the body. It really is. Oh, I guess I switched back to this. I, it looks like I might have to add a little water. Don't mind me, I fade in and out with the story while I cook because I don't want anything to burn. So anyway, had the two kids. My husband was not happy with the weight. He said he had an aversion to heavy women, which was really a little painful, but what are you gonna do? If that's, what he, if that's who he is, that's who he is. Um, I don't hold a grudge over that. I, I certainly understand it. But I could never lose the weight, never. So, and I shouldn't say never because it does happen and you'll hear about that too. So anyway, divorce came, uh, was on my own with the kids, still having trouble, still yo-yoing or, you know, roller coastering, however you want to put it. You know, it was, it was rough. And then I left the East Coast and moved to Texas and uh, had a friend here and her and I at a, at a job we were at, we're both foodies, and you know what a foodie is. You're probably a foodie yourself. Love food, love to cook. I mean, I had a catering business way back when, uh, you know, 100 years ago, I always say. And anyway, so she said to me, hey, you know what? Whole Foods is having uh, a 28-day challenge if you want to go. And I thought, yeah, why not? I thought, you know what? I'll give it one more shot. They're not going to be able to do anything, let's face it, because I'm only going to go back and eat butter and cream and donuts and, you know, nice, big, hearty sandwiches. So, but you know what? She's a nice girl. I thought, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go with you. No worries. We'll, we'll do this. So I went to support her. Come to find out, I learned so much about plant-based eating. Now, one of the things they said was no oil. And I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute now. You know olive oil is good for you. And uh, he dispelled that right off the bat. No, 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 no. All oil is 100% fat with no nutritional value. Thought about it, and I go, yeah, well, that's true, it is processed, that, that's a fact. I said, all right, so for the 28 days, I'll give up oil. Well, needless to say, before I had there, before I went there, you do have to know, I had high blood pressure, I was overweight, I couldn't climb a flight of stairs without getting over, without, it was just horrible. I mean, I was very, very sedentary. I like to walk, but, I don't know, I was also kind of embarrassed by my weight, and that was just me, that was my own self-esteem, that was not good. So, anyway, um, 
Long story short, I did the 28 days, and guess what? I have to say within six to eight weeks, no more high blood pressure medicine, lost 10 pounds right off the bat, started sleeping through the night. I don't, now this is a little personal, so I hope it's just the ladies watching, but I no longer leak when I laugh or cough. That I thought was, whoa, a mind blower. Um, I can go up and down the stairs, I walk 5Ks now. I mean, the, the change was phenomenal. Well, this was something that when you see that kind of change, you are not going back. There is no way I wanted to go back to getting up in the middle of the night two or three times. There was no way I wanted to go back to high blood pressure medicines, especially since I ended up in the hospital once and they said that it was either high blood pressure medicine or death. Which do you choose? Well, you know, of course I'm going to take the high blood pressure medicine. But honestly, I didn't want any of it. And in the beginning, I really thought, I can do this myself. I don't need, I can cut out salt. I really believed it was all the salt. Come to find out, really, when you, when you learn about everything, it's not just the salt, it's everything, you know? So it was really frustrating. So, did the plant-based, loved it, stayed with it. To this date, probably lost 60 pounds. But more importantly, I've learned to love me. I've learned that this is so easy. I'm not giving up anything. I still eat mac and cheese. I still eat pizza, just with a twist. I still eat all the comfort foods. I had cream of tomato soup this week. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh, I gotta make it again. I'm having cream of celery soup. I love cream soups. And you're saying it's summertime. Why are you making a soup? Because you know what? Soup in the summer cools you down. It cools the body temperature. That's why I'm making soup. Um, and I can freeze it too, because there's probably gonna be plenty in here for just more than one person. And my sister's away, so uh, she usually gets food from me. So anyway, um, I decided this was a calling. My passion was so strong, I really needed to get out there and just, I always like to say, I wanted to shout it from the rooftop, but the actuality is I wanted to shout it out in the grocery store. I really wanted to go along in the grocery store and look in people's carts and go, oh, no, no, that's processed. Don't eat that. It's bad for your heart. Or, no, no, don't eat that. That's really bad. Oh, oh, let me tell you about this. Let me tell you. I mean, I was that excited. You know, you're, you're excited to share what you learned is life-changing. I'm telling you, life-changing. So I ended up and I started coaching. And I thought, you know what? This is a true calling for me. I am going to coach people. I love when women who are, now if you're not in, a, in the age bracket, don't worry, I can still coach you, but I'm just saying that women in their 40s and up, they can relate to me because I've been there. I've walked in their shoes. I've had kids. I've had the big jobs. You know, I worked in corporate. I was a teacher. Um, I've been there. I had high blood pressure. I had joint pain. I've been there. I can get you through this. So... I know I'm starting to get louder because I'm getting passionate again. <laughs> I'll slow down, don't worry. So anyway, long story short, I absolutely love to coach people. That's my business now. And when you're done with the video, if you want to find out more about it, because everything I do is, there's no secrets in my life. I'm one of those people, uh, they used to say to me, your feelings are on your sleeve. Yeah, I know, because I'm Italian. Maybe that's what it is. I'm getting more water. Hang on. So, you can go to my website, you can read about my coaching, you'll see my story, but you know it already, because I just told you. And, uh, oh, this is almost ready. Oh, look at the nice green. Oh, oh, can you see the green in that? Look at that, it's really coming alive. All right, so, um, the website, my website will tell you all about me. It'll tell you a little bit about my programs. And there's a newsletter that you can sign up for. And that's, that's who I am in a nutshell. That's who I am. So I'm very happy that I have followers on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you. And, uh, and let's get cooking, all right? We'll get, cook some more and I'll talk some more. All right, so it looks like it's pretty well soft. Let me see. Yeah, oh yeah, the celery is very soft. It's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the broth. Okay, and then I'm going to bring that up to um, 
almost to a boil. I'm going to also add some salt and pepper. Now I do try to stay as salt free as I can, but there's some things that really scream for salt. But I'm very sparing with it, and I don't use it often. But something like celery, celery is going to need salt. And I would say I would probably put about a teaspoon of sea salt in here, maybe even a little bit less. And I always sprinkle out of my hand, only because, well, for one thing, my salt sits open, and so it's a little bit, not slumpy at all, but not as, um, you know, sprinkly as it should be. And then I'm going to put, I'll probably put about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And you can put more pepper if you like pepper. I'm not a giant pepper fan, but um, I, do, I do feel it needs some pepper. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And let me grab my lid. I'm going to go ahead and cover the How many? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. And I'll let it bring up to a boil again. And then we're going to emulsify it. In the meantime, let me go ahead and cream the and make the cream sauce. Now this I told you was a half a cup of um, cashews and a half a cup of water. Now what I love about this is that when you first look at this, you know, it's milky, it's, it's loose, but guess what? The longer it sits, the thicker it gets. So, that's always nice. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So we're good. And let's see how this is doing. Okay. So I do want to bring that up to a boil. And then I'm going to let this sit. And then when I put this in, wait till you see how creamy this is. Oh my gosh. And then I'll taste it. I have a bowl ready. I am ready for my soup. I have extra spoons in case I want to taste it. And then put something else in it. It may need more salt. I don't know. So we'll find out as we do this. So I'm just hanging in here waiting. So anyway, if you want to be plant-based, I have, oh, that's my dog. Charlie, not yet. Charlie wants to go out and it's not time. Not yet, Charlie. Got to wait five minutes. He, he is afraid of the tripod that the camera sits on, that the phone sits on. You believe it? Poor little boy. Charlie, not yet, Charlie. So, anyway, um, plant-based is something that should be done at your own pace, at your own pace. And what I recommend is first is a cutting out dairy, I think. And that's the hardest, really, too, because cheese is addictive. <sighs> cheese is very addictive. I know I had so much trouble with cheese. That is really a craving. And they, it's made that way because it's processed. So that's why it's got, it's a craving, that's why. Oh, this, this, uh, this lid, I got this on an infomercial once. It was so cool. It has, you can, it has like all these ridges so you can use it for different size pots because I can never find the right lid to the right pot. So I thought, well, I'll get this, I'll have this thing. And I liked it so much, I bought one for my niece because I thought she was a big cook. I, I don't know if she still has hers or not. All right, so I'll go ahead and taste it, but the flavor is really going to be once I put the cashew cream in here. Okay, and like I said, you can use coconut cream. Mmm, I like it. Oh, I had a big piece of pepper though. I don't like peppers, so you know, pepper, sprinkled pepper. All right, I'm going to add the cream, and then we're going to go ahead and emulsify. This should be really good. The tomato came out perfect. That's why I'm hoping this comes out just as good. Oh, I guess it helps if I plug it in. Usually that's what works when you plug it in and give it some electricity. All right then, I guess I'm good. And I gotta watch that I don't tear this into, I don't let this touch the top. I'm gonna do it on high. around the bottom of your pan and it pulls everything in to, to cream it. Celery is a little bit thicker and heavier to do, so I'm using it on the high setting. Once you make this, you know how you have Campbell's cream of tomato soup or cream of celery soup and you use it to make casseroles? There you go. Throw some mac and cheese macaroni in this. 
some faux cheese that we make. I make my own cheese for my mac and cheese. That recipe is in there somewhere. And uh, we have a nice creamy, although the cheese is creamy enough as it is, but this, just a dash of this will make a good flavor. It's getting there. It's not quite done yet. I think this is the coolest thing in emulsifier. Before I learned how to use it, I don't even know where I got it. I gave it to my son. I don't think he used it very often. And then he was moving and he said to me, do you want this back? I am so glad I said yes. I would not want to have to go buy another one. Oh, look how creamy, can you see this? Look how creamy this is. Oh my gosh, this looks fantastic. All right, let's give it a test. Are we ready? Clean spoon. Stir it up. And the longer it sits, like I said before, the thicker it will get. Mmm, it's delicious. Mmm. I love it. So, it'll get thicker and thicker. In fact, it'll get so thick you might have to, if you refrigerate it, you might have to add a little bit of hot water to it when you reheat. But I would wait to add anything until after you reheat that, okay? So, just to get fancy, let's add, hang on. Just to make it a picture perfect, look it. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? Oh yeah, celery, cream of celery soup, I'm in heaven. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye because I gotta go eat my lunch now, this is it. Have a wonderful day, thank you so much for joining me, I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. And then of course, when it comes to YouTube, I never can figure out how to turn this off. I don't know if I hit the X, yes. Are you sure you stopped? Yes.